Welcome to Cruise Kibbits, where we give you all the advice that you didn't ask for. Hey, y'all. Welcome. Welcome to Cruise Kibbits. I am Kiki from Team Reese Travels. I am Siobhan from Parker's On The Go. And I am Cheryl, also known as Sig Cruiser. And together, we are Cruise Kibbits. And guess what, y'all? It's an exciting day. Why? Why is it an exciting day? Did I hear someone ask why it's an exciting day? I did. Why okay. is it an exciting day? It's an exciting day because we are doing Vlogmas and, you know, we're going to plan to do Vlogmas. We figured, why not have a little conversation about holiday cruising? These lovely ladies on the screen have done some big holiday cruising in their cruise past. I have not done as much, so I'm going to look to hear from them today about all the advantages and disadvantages of cruising during the holidays. Sound like a fun discussion to y'all? Sounds great. All right. Let's okay. talk about it then. So advantages and disadvantages to cruising during the holidays. You know, before we talk about disadvantages, why don't we talk about some of the advantages? Because we want to talk about the good stuff first. Uh, we'll come back with, with some of the negatives later, but let's talk about the positives. So Cheryl, why don't you give us one of the advantages to cruising during the holiday? Uh, one of the advantages, well, first let me say, uh, as far as uh, experience with cruising on the holidays, I've cruised uh, several holidays. Uh, I know I've cruised like Memorial Day, 4th of July, Labor Day, Thanksgiving. I cruised every Thanksgiving and then New Year's. I have not cruised Christmas. So I have cruised the holidays a few times and I would say, in one of the reasons I did that uh, was because it allowed me to save some of my PTO days because around the holidays, you may have one or two, you know, uh, holidays that are given by your job. And then if that, that cruise falls on the weekend, so that gives you more time to sail without using up your PTO days. So that was one of the main reasons I did it. Sounds like good enough reason to me. Very smart. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> what about you, Siobhan? Can you tell us your experience with cruising during the holidays and like some of the advantages to it? Yeah, absolutely. So I, we've only cruised two holidays. Um, so Thanksgiving was a major one. We did that last year on this um, carnival celebration. And then we also took our very first Royal Caribbean cruise on the Mariner of the Seas, and that was a Halloween cruise. Uh, so... <laughs> Technically, I would think for me, holiday is more like Christmas, Thanksgiving, New Year's. Though for me, more or less, Thanksgiving is a bigger one. Uh, we had such an amazing time just cruising and not having to worry about anything. Uh, so definitely the advantage of not worrying about anything and, you know, calling people and saying happy Thanksgiving and then hanging up the phone and going on about my life. That was <laughs> that was definitely an advantage of cruising on the holidays. Just actually not having to worry about taking care of things. Not having to worry about cooking big meals. That's definitely a big one for me because we do big, big holidays here. We did do big Thanksgiving meals and, and dinners and not having to worry about cooking and cleaning and just getting up and go. That is definitely a plus for us for cruising yeah. on the holidays. Yeah. Absolutely. You know what? That sounds great. I mean, not having to worry about cooking and I mean, y'all know sometimes holidays can come with the drama. So mm -hmm. <laughs> not having to worry about the Thanksgiving sure. table drama. Yeah. And <laughs> enjoying the day and getting there, being able to maximize the time that you already have off. That holiday, especially talking about Thanksgiving, that's a huge one for maximizing your time because most yes. companies, you get that Thursday and Friday off, which means you use three vacation days and you get nine days off total. That right. is a huge deal. Yes. <laughs> that's actually we our first holiday sailing coming up for Thanksgiving, so we have that time off for that. <laughs> but like Siobhan, we actually have taken a Halloween thing. It wasn't actually on Halloween, but it was close. It was in the month of October, and it was themed entirely around Halloween on the Disney fantasy. And I mean, it was big tree lighting and parties and trick-or-treating. And the advantage I would say to that we got the trick or treat inside and not out in the cold. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. So we we you know we just passed Halloween a few days ago, y'all. It was snowy outside, <laughs> and you know RJ couldn't go out because he was not feeling well, but 
kids were out in the snow trick or treating. We didn't have to deal with that in the Caribbean. That was not yeah. <laughs> right. right. Yes, definitely a positive there. So, uh, any other advantages that you guys can think of to cruising during the holidays? Now, it, it could be me, but I feel that, as, especially around Thanksgiving, New Year's. I think uh, cruisers are uh, just normally, you know, happy and friendly, but I just feel like they're even more, they're happier or more friendlier during the holiday cruises like the, the Thanksgiving and New Year's. Now, it could be me, maybe my spirits are better, but I don't know, even at home, you know, holidays always, you know, bring out the extra oomph in you anyway. So, so and, and it's even more so on the ship, I think. So, yeah. Yeah. I agree and also i think the major the major point that um i i bring out right now is my children are older they're not as young as they used to be so it's easier to cruise with them and just create different family traditions because you know everybody grows up and they start going their separate ways or maybe they have jobs now and some have work or you know maybe they just have a different way of thinking as far as holidays are concerned so cruising is just basically finding your own way of making traditions for the holidays um so mm -hmm. with us last year as soon as we did it the first thing we said was we want to do this every year we want to make sure that we cruise every year and make this our individual new family tradition um so definitely a way to do that without having to worry about, so much about um hurting people's feelings or so this person can't be here for a certain reason like you make your own tradition with your own family and you know leave the drama behind <laughs> yes Absolutely. you know it's interesting you said to one of the things cheryl said was how people seem to be a little bit more jovial around the holidays mm -hmm. the one time that that i can think of people are maybe not as jovial around the holidays have y'all ever gone shopping during the holiday season? Like retail shopping out and about? But that, 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 people are not joking. Yeah, <laughs> I can imagine that. people's attitudes on the ship are probably a whole, whole lot better than they are in the, you know, 30 people line at Kohl's. When, you know, it's, it's, it can be a little crazy. Yeah. I couldn't even tell you the last time I even Black Friday shopped. Like it's just, it got to the point where it was so bad. It's not even worth, the, worth doing it anymore. Um, so to be on a cruise ship for Black Friday, I'll take that any day to being out shopping at two o'clock in the morning, fighting yes. for sales that you could probably get online now online. anyway. Yeah. And I'm just not a shopper anyway. I mean, even, you know, in June. So yeah. I'm not in December. If I can order it online, that's uh -huh. what I want to do. Well, that's good. It was It's fun to hear about some of the advantages. But now let's talk about some of the dreaded disadvantages of sailing during the holidays. I think I want to hear from Siobhan. What, what would you say is a disadvantage to cruising during the holidays? Oh, the price. <laughs> the price of booking a cruise on a holiday will make you cry. Yeah. And, and unfortunately, I don't, there's just not a way of getting around that. It's the most, and I feel it's just because pe they know people are going to be at work. People want to do something special. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the same cruise you probably could have took the week before you're taking during a holiday and mm -hmm. the price is almost double. Um, so for me, it's the price. <laughs> yeah, I can do that. I'm trying to uh, compete with the uh, inaugural prices you know with the holidays <laughs> oh my god right like what are y'all doing <laughs> i really think they're starting to cap the holiday prices oh my goodness because i'm still trying to recover from I oh, yeah. I'm <laughs> now i didn't look i'm just wondering what the jubilee price is looking like with that inaugural and holiday together oh, oh man I can't yeah. yeah, I didn't look either. I didn't want to know. <laughs> and and I'll, I'll add that that was one of the trade offs of okay, yeah, I get to save PTO days, but it's going to cost me a little bit more, you know, to do so. So it's like that's where you have to, you know, make the decision on which is more important, um, you know, money in your pocket or your PTO days. So yeah. you know. I don't know. Yeah, that's it. That's it right there. Everything uh -huh. is a decision. Exactly. Absolutely. Cheryl, can you think of any other disadvantages to cruising during that time? You know, for uh, for Thanksgiving and Christmas, I will say. Now, when we're at home, you know, we have these home gatherings. We're with our family, and of course, 
Oh, we have mom or grandma's cooking. Okay, so when you get it, when you get on the ship, the holidays, you're gonna have food. But don't expect mom or grandma's cooking. Don't expect those home mm -hmm. traditional mm -hmm. uh, flavors. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to get my my auntie's potato salad. I'm no sure. ma'am, no ma'am, no <laughs> ma'am. Now, if it's gonna take like mom, takes like moms or grandmas, you know, for Thanksgiving, you'll have turkey and dressing. But is it going to be like uh, yours or your mom's? Or is grandma's? it going to be dressing? Really? Is it going to be dressing? <laughs> That's questionable. Yeah. <laughs> I just had a flashback of like cruising on Carnival and having Thanksgiving dinner in the main dining room. And they put a piece of turkey that was recognizable. And then they put a piece that wasn't. And I just gathered in my mind that it was a turkey loaf with stuff. It was... Yeah, it was. I was just like, well, I can't, I can't do it. Um, but also, then they would have a banger, you know what I mean? So, you would have like the turkey loaf, but then the appetizer were chicken wings, and they were amazing. Like, wow, they were amazing. And then you get to dessert, and they have some kind of sweet potato, something, but you know, you might get a raisin in there. <laughs> and then you have, then oh, you have no, the pecan no. pie. <laughs> Good. So it's like you go, you gonna have a hit or miss situation. You will have a piece here that's good, and then a piece that's like, uh, your stuffing is gonna be there and it's gonna smell amazing, but it might be a little wet, too wet. You know, it's just hey, you it's it's the gamble you take. It's the gamble you take. These are descriptive words that do not go with my <laughs> food. I'm, I'm not understanding <laughs> that my food might be a little wet, like no. <laughs> A raisin in my sweet potato. That's a flag on the play. What are we talking about here? Listen, <laughs> what did I get myself into? <laughs> this was our first like and we were we really felt like we were gonna have and it was a it was nice because we were around friends and we had a nice it, it did make up for the fact that we weren't home with our family and friends for holiday and that is a big disadvantage of cruising, mm -hmm. not yeah. being around those people as Cheryl said. Mm -hmm. But also, you know, the company made up for it. But when you sit down and break down what you just ate. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So just know. <laughs> yeah. And don't even add in the food allergies for it. people with food allergies or gluten allergies. Just don't go to the dining room mm -hmm. and expect, you know, a Thanksgiving dinner, you know, get a steak, you know, yeah. Could be better. <laughs> so I wonder, like, if Thanksgiving falls on your normal, like, what would be your formal night? Do they still do the lobster? Because just give me the lobster. Skip all the Thanksgiving stuff. If it's just give me the lobster, I'm be all right. Well, I think we have the advantage of now. You can still get two entrees, so maybe get the lobster and get the Thanksgiving dinner, and just decide which one you're gonna actually eat. No, I, I want two, I, I, two lobsters. Two you know what? And that's a big thing about Thanksgiving and, and Christmas too, right? Like the leftovers. So yes, yeah. you don't get the good food when you're on the ship and then you go home and you weren't there to even prepare good food at home. It's like, man, I don't even have my holiday leftovers. Mm -hmm. I think I would be okay though because I was on a cruise, but <laughs> that's something to think about. <laughs> Any other disadvantages you ladies can think of? That's pretty much it. It's <laughs> about everywhere else is good. I would, now, in the past, I would have said crowds, but now today the ships are crowded no matter what time of year you go because they're all mm -hmm. over. So, <laughs> so yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. The holiday crowd. Yeah. But, know, yeah. Maybe for some people, it's the, their, the money that they would be spending at home Christmas shopping. They're actually spending on the ship and doing excursions and stuff. So, you might be a little more free willing to spend money <laughs> when you're cruising than you would be at home. Right. Um, so maybe that's something you have to bake into your budget too. And who wants to talk about budgeting when they're on a cruise? Exactly. <laughs> but I get it though. Experience yeah. is over stuff. Yeah. So you yeah. know, just got to decide Absolutely. if it's worth it to you. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay. Well, that's all good to know. I, I'm definitely looking forward to my, well, I won't, I guess it's not my first since I did the Halloween sailing, but mm -hmm. when you think about holidays in the traditional sense, Thanksgiving, Christmas, those are the ones that come to mind. I am excited to be on the ship for Thanksgiving. I am excited to not have to cook. I am excited to just be in some place warm. I am from Indiana where it is cold Christmas, Thanksgiving all the time. So being in the Caribbean, when it's hot for the holidays, I'm looking forward to that. So I'm excited. 
And thank okay. you, ladies, for sharing. You want to mess around and make this an, an annual family tradition? I would love to. I would love to make every holiday a cruise and make it a family tradition. Yes. <laughs> we just got to get the rest of the family to come. Now that that is, I do. I like Cheryl said. I wish other family members would be there with us because I'm used to being around certain people for the holiday, yeah. and I'm not going to get that this year. But I just got to convince them to come on. Come on, get on the train. Get on the train. We're moving. Well, um, anything else you ladies would like to add? Before we uh close out this segment, holiday cruise for the holidays. <laughs> cruise for the holidays. Just do it. <laughs> You'll never regret it. So everyone, we mentioned earlier that we do plan on doing Vlogmas. If you're not familiar with Vlogmas, Vlogmas is pretty much putting out video content every day in December until Christmas. So please let us know what you guys want to hear from us and. How can people get in contact with us if they have questions about cruising around the holidays, if they have things they want to hear from us for Vlogmas, or if they have any questions for cruise kids in general? Siobhan, can you let everybody know how they can contact us? Absolutely. First of all, you can comment under this video if you are on YouTube, or you can make sure you follow us on your favorite podcast streaming service. Secondly, you can email us at cruisekibbits at gmail.com. That is cruise, K-I-B-I-T at gmail.com you can message us on social media or any of our individual social media accounts thank you so much and if we don't have anything else to share i don't know cheryl what do you think well i think we should call this a podcast all right let's call it a podcast <laughs> happy proving <laughs> happy proving <laughs>